Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Planes, Trains, and Comic Books channel. My name's Matt, and today we're going to review The Riddler Year One. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for The Riddler Year One, number one. It is a DC Black Label comic, and it is by Paul Dano and Steven Subic. And we start off with Edward Nashton, and he works at an accounting firm. And while he does all the actual work, this guy named Zach that he works alongside takes all the credit for the stuff that he does. And besides the fact that he doesn't get any credit for the good work that he does, while walking home every day, he sees Gotham City, and he thinks everything about it is disgusting. That is, until one day he's walking home, and he happens to come upon some men who are about to hurt a woman, and the woman sees Edward hide and not try to help her. But out of the shadows, Batman comes along and he beats these guys up and he scares the hell out of them. And Edward is super impressed and thinks that Batman gets it. He hates this city too, but he's doing something about it. And this kind of gives him some hope. So the next day at work, he finds some irregularities in an account that was a special project that he and Zack were given. And he tells Zack what he found. And instead of Zack letting him go up there and tell the boss, Zack goes up there by himself and takes all the credit. So Edward decides he should follow his boss out of work so he can talk to him privately and let him know that he was the one who found the irregularities. So he follows his boss all across town, eventually leading to a bar. And he walks up and introduces himself. And that's where I'm going to stop it. I don't want to spoil anything else. So I picked this comic up because it's written by Paul Dano, who is the actual Riddler in the movie. And I thought that was interesting. He's a good actor. And I wanted to see if he could write as well. And I gotta say, for the most part, I think he did a pretty good job. There's definitely a slow pace to the writing, where there's not too much action, but there's just a build in the atmosphere of, like, tension, and since you know, of course, that the Riddler is going to be bad and what he's going to become from the movie, there's an anticipation that builds up as you turn the pages because you're wondering when that snap is going to happen. I will say that this first issue doesn't have much action, though. A lot of it is in the Riddler's head. It's mostly him talking to himself and his messed up thoughts. And what we're seeing in the world around him is mostly just him working or him walking home from work or being on the train. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. The art in this by Steven Subic is awesome. One thing that I love that he does, whenever there's a dark scene where Edward is kind of skulking in the shadows, you don't really get to see him very much, but you do see his glasses stand out. And I love the way that looks on the page. And he really captures the atmosphere and the tone that Dano seems to be going for in the writing. So overall, I thought this was a good book. It definitely definitely is a slow burn and it might not be for some but it does have the advantage because of the movie that we know where it's going to end so that might not bother most people because it just feels like we're learning more history about this character and it's giving a lot of insight into his actions from the movie so i'm going to give this book a 3.5 out of 5 i think the art was great i think the story was solid there could have been more action or some more cliffhangers but i think there's a reason for the pacing so i'm not really counting that against this one so if you said anything you like definitely go pick that up at your local comic book store and we will see y'all in the next one.